We're so grateful and thankful that you're here with us to give us your time. I believe you will be pleased. I know everyone here is for a reason. You are here for a reason. And most of the reason when you get down to the business side of things, you're here to, to provide for yourself and your family. We're a service provider. We're here to serve you. We're here to help bring solutions for success, both at the independent contractor, the driver level, the owner-operator level, and the fleet owner level, as well as the motor carrier level. There is needs in every segment. We don't think we're better than anybody else. We think we're needed. We don't think we're the next best thing since sliced bread. We think that we are the salt that needs to be used for the seasoning of the food. That's what we are. So we're, we want you to understand that we're here for y'all. Nobody in this room is a contract driver, owner operator, fleet owner, or motor carrier works for us. Do not forget that. We work for you. Everything that we've done has been to set up our agenda to benefit and promote the success of our community. The contractor, the motor carrier, and ourselves. We still have to focus on growth. We have to be able to provide the nation with goods. We have to be sustainable and continue to grow our businesses. And so we need drivers to the industry. But what we need is younger drivers, new drivers that are joining the industry that know that there's a good living to be earned, that there is a lifestyle that they can maintain, that their family is well provided for, and that they will be well provided for both on the road and in their truck. If we're going to need you know, close to a million drivers through attrition, that means that the older generation's leaving. So we need, we need more women. And, and we, I, we are seeing an upsurge of, not surge, but uh, a few more women. We do the Women in Trucking Index. I think our efforts are showing improvement in the United States um, because of the, the things that we're doing to target both younger women um, and women who may not be aware of the trucking industry as a whole. That's the whole point, it's the tools. So if you come into the industry and you don't realize the importance of the, the bookkeeping aspect of it or maybe fuel um, optimization or route optimization and having somebody help you and hold your hand and say, these are the best routes to pick, these are the best loads to pick, um, this is where you should buy your fuel um, and, and this is how what you can write off as a you know, tax deduction, things like that, it answers so many questions that someone might not know where to turn. We believe at the very beginning that if every person that drove that truck owned that business, it became stable. You know, he is the driver. It stops turnover. He builds relationship with the carrier. We have always tried to operate within the confines of what's good for that carrier. If you pick out the best carriers and you prove yourself to them, why would you try to use your leverage to push them into something that's not good for the carrier? Because what you do, you would get yourself in a position where if they have to start cutting, guess where they would cut? You know? So what we try to do, we, we try to isolate and find carriers that work well for us and therefore for you. And by doing that, there's safety there. Yeah, there's, there's tremendous opportunity uh, here for independent contractors. I mean, the, uh, you know, as I said on, on the stage, I think a lot of lot, light bulbs are starting to go off with major shippers that there's, a, I mean, this is secular, right? This isn't just a little seasonal blip. I mean, this is a, uh, a, a major problem that's, that's going, that's not going to just go away easily. And so, you know, that, uh, that search for capacity, you know, is, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be an intense focus, you know, for shippers. Is it, the crunch is real, right? And it's happening right now, and, and it, it's as hot as we've ever seen it in Expedite. You're never going to see more opportunities in the marketplace, right? Especially with ArcPest and Panther. Um, on any given day, we're looking at about 1,400 shipment opportunities for that owner, right? And that ranges from not only Expedite, but to true truckload brokerage, and then we have a dedicated truckload, truckload uh, brokerage as well. Um, owners coming in have the ability to get a feel for what is it they like. Is it Expedite, where they run really well? Is it that truckload side, the dedicated truckload? And they have the ability to build their own business and become a fleet owner like Paul was just talking about. People are coming into the industry now, they've been coming in for a while, but they're, they're, they're successful 
right? And they're successful because of expediter services. They're successful because they got on with the right carrier. And that gives them the ability to grow from one or two trucks to five or 10 or 15 or 20. Because they are, they're providing a very unique offering and that, that's creating an independent contractor that really didn't have uh, tremendous options to become a business owner outside of that. Um, and then that in combination with the, the, the women in trucking strive for 150, um, we've, we've been able to, to really, really get some, some uh, tremendous momentum there that we've, we've never had. Um, with, with their support of that, you know, we've, I think we've got about three or four, you know, in its infancy, in its infancy uh, we've got three or four women ready to become business owners that would not have been, had it not been for ES. But at the end of the day, if you're not successful, we really do only make a living if you're successful. That's the only reason why this company is in business and it's the only way we stay in business. Uh, we are trying to create a community that gives you a leg up against competition. We want to identify good motor carriers, help good owners become fleet owners or good drivers become owner operators and do business right there inside that community. And then we want to protect that community so that in good times or bad times, we all continue to make a living. We, we were on the path to ownership program. Um, after about three months, they said you was ready to buy one. So I told them just, whatever you get exactly what I want, then you let me know until then we're gonna run. Yep. We signed our paperwork and bought ours yesterday. He asked me if, if I was ready to do this for the next 10, 20 years. I said, absolutely. Uh, we do believe that every driver out there can own that truck. If, the, if they're willing to apply themselves, and uh, just act like a professional, they can own the truck. You own the truck, I go back to my roots. I'm telling you, a few small moves can change the direction of your family. Just a few small moves. Father couldn't read and write. Today I'm a little bit better blessed. But as a driver out there, you can be a blessing to your family, to your wife, to your kids. Owning that truck is the best thing that could ever happen to you, as long as you're willing to apply yourself.